Alright. Alright. Come on, Pastor. I'm ready. I got my my plate in my phone. Who said that? What is it? Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Except yeah. this one is going to be true disciples of Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Uh -huh. Except this one is going to be true disciples. Christ of Christ Jesus. Right. Uh -oh. Amen. 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 Uh, while I was uh, a a visitor vacationing, uh, I was a tourist <laughs> uh, in, in, in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. I toured from uh, Huntsville, the Walls Unit, and, and, and they sent me on a city route of very beautiful trees uh, in, to the East Ham unit. Yeah, 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 that's, so true. So that's why I, 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 I stayed uh, the rest of my vacation was at the East Ham unit. Yeah. All right. yeah. That's the Department of Criminal Justice. All right. Hey, uh -huh. East Ham. East Ham. In 1989, uh, I was in East Ham. I didn't know I was on the murder capital oh, unit yeah. the of the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. I didn't know it. I, I was a young kid. I was scared half to death anyway. Yeah. I, I didn't know what was going on. I just know I had did some things out there to get me in some trouble. And so uh, the Lord, I didn't know it at that time, was rescuing me. All right, Amen. all right, Amen. all right. Because I was on the verge to kill somebody, or somebody was going to kill me. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, and, and, and so he gave me a reprieve, Sister okay. Vaughn, by locking me up in the Texas Department. All right. Uh-huh. That will happen. All right. Now, so so today's subject now is true disciples of Christ Jesus. All right. Amen. And and the unit that you're gonna be on, sister. <laughs> sister, I know who you kiss be on. This, kiss this. Your unit that you're gonna be on kiss is the Seymour Lur unit. <laughs> Come on here, man. That's, that's the unit we're going to be on today. Come uh, on here. See more, learn unit. <laughs> say, say that to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. We are on. We are on. The see more. The see more. Learn unit. Learn unit. Man, come on here. <laughs> oh, they, I don't know if they felt that, but I did. The see more, learn unit. Amen. And let me see the hands of those that have been incarcerated in, in, in some correctional facility, even if it's just for one day. Let, let me see your hands. Don't, don't be ashamed. I already know I got some, I got some criminals up in here. Don't play with me. I, I know y'all criminals. <laughs> Put your gun up. Man, shut up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you shut that door for me right there, but I need the air to stay in right now. And, yeah, get a little warm. Go on to the back door back there and shut that door for me. Yeah, we finna lock these criminals up in there right now. They ain't going nowhere. Amen. See more learn you that I already got my go up in here and everybody. Yeah. And, and they already packed it. Sister Robinson packing at the back door. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, that, let me see your hands that have been incarcerated in a correctional facility, even if it's just for one day. Amen. So what it, so we know what it feels like yeah. to be locked up in somebody else's jail. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, let me see the hands of those that have been in bounds and chains of your own devices. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, everybody may not feel like they they bound and they chain and they jail. Cause, cause they like hoeing, they, they like pimping, they, they like gambling. You know, they ain't having no problem with that kind of stuff. You know, what I'm talking about the folks that <laughs> got some problems with that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, they, they All right. Uh huh. Yeah, so we so we know what it feels like to be imprisoned by our own sin. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. And let me see the hands of them people. Uh, 
that got arrested uh, 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 for a crime that, that you didn't commit. <laughs> and, and, and you were guiltless, uh, you, you was above suspicion, uh, it was mistaken identity, and, and, and so, so you know what it feels like to be detained. Amen. 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 So we, oh, we got a good suffering uh, of all of us in here right now, right? And, and if you've ever been locked up and told, then, then you would always say, once I'm released, I ain't never going back again. Uh, I, 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 I vow not to go back there, never no more. Uh, Brother Heard, when they, when they let me go, partner, upon a yonder man, I told them you'll never see me again. The God say, I see you in six months. I say, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and from that day to this one, I haven't been back to the penitentiary. No more. I ain't never Hallelujah. <laughs> I've been back to the I ain't been back to the penitentiary. Yeah. yeah. No more, Sister Sam. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so now uh when you when you look at what's happening right now, Pastor is is really asking you, Sister Jones, to lock yourself up in probably one of the most misunderstood correctional facilities that it is. Come on, Come on. Amen. That's the true disciples of Christ Jesus okay. system at the Seymour Learning Unit. Wow. Yeah. And, and uh, asking you to lock yourself up to, to actually so that you can uh, free yourself of rhythm. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Apostle Paul, uh, being the author of, of this epistle, right here, was no stranger to being a prisoner. Amen. Several of his writings were created behind prison walls. Uh -huh. right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. The book of Ephesians was scripted while he was in a Roman prison. And is said to be the greatest of the Paulinian epistles. All right. Uh, it's strange sometimes, Deacon Palmer, that that God has to lock us up. To make us look up. Yeah, okay. Amen. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, it's strange sometimes that uh, sometimes we got to be in prison, right. Reverend Jones, so that God can inspire us. Okay, yeah. all right. Oh, it's, oh boy. It, it, it's, it's a little bit strange sometimes that sometimes God has to ban us, Sister Holiday, for him to get the best out of us. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so we find Paul here that he was trying to find out what he was there in prison for. Okay. So we at verse one. You see that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Say verse one. Verse one. I therefore. You see that? Uh huh. I therefore. Now that don't even sound like good English. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I therefore. Do you you start a sentence off like that? No. That don't even sound right. I therefore. But it's okay because we speak Ebonics on a regular basis. <laughs> so we are we okay with this? Am I right? Amen. So I therefore. And, and, and really what he said in the punch is this, what am I there for? Okay, all right. That, that, that's really what Paul is saying right here. What am I there for? There there for? for. All right. Consequently, as a result, I've been there before. Uh-huh. Huh? Yeah, yeah, can, yeah. Can anybody say that? Consequently, yeah, as a result, I have been there before. before. Where Paul is right now, I have been there before. Amen. Uh, Paul is locked up in prison right now. I have Amen. been there before. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. I've been there before. Uh huh. Matter of fact, some of them might still be there right now. Uh huh. Right. And, and you might be locked up on your own accord 
Or you might be locked up because you did something that was wrong in society. Or you might be locked up because you just been retained uh, out of mistaken identity. No, you ain't. No, you was telling a lie, Brother Dave. You know them folks didn't mistake you. You know, when they picked you up, it was because of your track record. Guess why they picked you up? Yeah, okay. I, what am I there for? Paul is saying, why am I there? While he was there in prison, he wasn't grumbling. He wasn't complaining. He didn't, he didn't stay stuck like Chuck. All right. All right. While he was in prison, he wasn't, he wasn't blaming other folks for him being there. Uh -huh. He wasn't pointing fingers at other folks for him being there. But he was trying to learn from the Lord why he was there. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. You need to take this time. You need to take this time. To find out. To find out. What you truly there for. What you truly there for. Amen. 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 I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord. I told you earlier that I was a state inmate. <laughs> so I, I was a prisoner of the state, but, but now I'm a prisoner of the Savior. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I used to be the property of the Department, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And now I'm the pastor of the True Disciples of Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah, amen. Huh? amen. Yeah. And the oxymoron of this is that Paul is begging us to lock up the free of us. Mm. That's, that's the oxymoron. That is. Somebody turn to John, the 10th chapter. Now, not everybody, just somebody. I need a Bible reader. Somebody turn to John, the 10th. Amen. 27. The what does it say? The word of God reads, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Come on, Dick. Keep reading. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Uh huh. My father. Oh, yeah. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. All right. Hold on to that and don't move. John 8 and 36. Oh, you're going to have to read that louder than this all day. Uh, 8 and 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free. Indeed. Do it say that? Do it say free indeed? Amen. All right. Thank you very much for that. Somebody turn to Matthew 11 and 28. Paul is begging us to lock up the free up. I'm going to show you something in this right quick. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, uh -huh. and I will give you rest. Yes. Yeah. Take my what? Oh, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, uh -huh. for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and yeah. you will find rest. For your soul. Uh huh. For my what? For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So the oxymoron for this is that Paul is telling us to lock up, to free up. Now, Amen. now, brother Deacon just read that that my sheep know my voice, right. uh -huh. and the voice of another I will not follow. Uh -huh. and, and so God's people they know his voice and they, they know when they when they know when the Lord is speaking to them and they know when the Lord is speaking to them through somebody else speaking to them from the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And, and, and so my sheep know my voice and the voice of another they will not follow. And, and so my question to you is, is why are you following all of those negative influence on the outside that will get you locked up in somebody else's gym? All right. Yeah, all right. That's my first question to you. Now we who are 
Christians in the house today, why is it that we cannot identify the voice of God? Why is it that we can't identify the voice of God when he's speaking to us? How is it that we keep falling astray outside of what he's instructing us to do? That's right, say on. Mm. So my sheet on my voice and the voice of another they would not follow. And then it's something about this though. He said, whom the Father has placed in my hand. No man shall pluck them out. No man shall pluck them out. Man. So the idea here is that we would lock ourselves up in the hand of Jesus. Uh -huh. That we would allow ourselves to be put yeah, into his right. hand. All right. Yeah, All right. That's, that's, that's the lock right there. Uh-huh. Paul is saying, lock up to free us. If, if you really want to be free, then you really need to be locked lock up. up. Amen. Amen. I know, I know that don't make no sense. Yes, it but does. Looking at the real yes, it does. Right yes, it does. Especially the ex-convicts. <laughs> they look at me like, hey, I'm not trying to do that no more. <laughs> I'm trying to be locked up like that. Somebody tell me what to eat, where to go, what to wear, what to do. You know, but Paul is saying you will really free yourself if you lock yourself up. Yeah. Amen. And so John 8 and 36 said this right here. What was that? I therefore? You you is that how Jesus started that off? Yes, Did he say, I therefore, the same way that Paul started off Ephesians 4 and 1? I therefore, whom the Son has set free, is truly free indeed. So Jesus is saying, what am I therefore? I'm actually therefore to set you free. Amen. 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 That's good, Pastor. Even though you are willing to lock yourself up in me, I'm really there to set you free. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Okay. We're starting to get this here now. Uh, we 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 finna, we finna get this here. Amen. And so Matthew ele Matthew eleven and twenty eight says what? Come unto me. Oh. Now 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 Jesus is is this is not a suggestion. This is actually a, a command. command. Yes sir. Amen. Yes sir. Yes sir. Jesus is not suggesting that you come. Yes. He's commanding yes. that you come. Yes sir. Come unto me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. All ye who are what? Amen. Amen. In heavy lane. Oh, y'all ain't reading that right. Come, come on, talk to me now. What is that saying? Who labor and heavy Come unto me, all ye that what? Labor. That's the first one. Yes, sir. The one that's working, the one that's toiling. Amen. The one that's struggling. Yeah. Uh huh. Come unto me. That's right. Cast all your cares upon me. Why? For I carry it. For you, All right. come unto me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been struggling with this thing. I've been heavy laden in this same thing for years now. And I ain't been able, Brother Maurice, to free myself up from this situation. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Huh? It's been driving me, Brother Hurst. Oh. <laughs> it's been taking my sanity. I'm an emotional wreck. I done lost all my money. I done lost my family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jesus said you need to come unto me. All right. Amen. Stop trying to go unto them Amen. and come unto him. All right. Amen. 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 See, what you're looking for in them, you ain't been able to get. All right. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. But well, we can get it in him. Yeah. Amen. What, what it say, come unto me all ye that labor and are heaven laden and I'll do what? Give you rest. I'll give you rest. I remember when I was on an 18 day binge coming off a of crack at it. What? 18 days. Yeah. Had on the same drawers, the same socks, yeah. in the same shoes, mm -hmm. in the same pants. I was 126 pounds. I had a Jerry cover with no activator. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I'm laughing, but I'm serious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I laughed at it today, but it wasn't funny back then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I look like a walking scarecrow. Yes, sir. 
You know the step brother got on the pole with yeah. the hay coming up out of it? Yeah. That's how I look. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. And I came off an 18 day binge. And the first place I think to go was home. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's the right. first place I thought to go. I went and I knocked on the back door at Mama's. Yeah. I knocked on the back door. I could come when I wanted to straighten up, but I couldn't stay there while I was cutting up. Right, yeah. <laughs> See, some of y'all standing in your mama house while you cutting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. 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 Laying down there. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. these folks were gonna have to get me. So y'all, y'all real good yeah. parents up in here. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We didn't have none of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, that break y'all something real proper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. So I came in and I told the door. And she said, oh, my God. Pull those clothes out. the back clothes. <laughs> The back door, yeah. 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 And, and, and come over there and, and get your stress. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 I will give you the stress. She said, pull them clothes out right there. Yeah. In the back door. Yes, sir. And, and, and <laughs> threw me a garment. Yeah. Yeah. And said, come on in here and get your stress. Yeah. Amen. See, that's what Jesus is trying to tell us, Sister Howell. We. We need to come in out of what we're doing. Amen. Amen. Leave and all that stuff right back. And rest on it. Come on in. And, and rest. Get some rest. Amen. And rest on it. So, yeah, yeah. I know you're tired. Yeah. I know you're tired. You're trying to handle things that you can't handle. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to control things that you can't control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I know you're tired. It, it's a struggle. That's where the struggle, Brother David, come in at. It's because I can't control what I'm trying. Control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I start struggling with that thing. I get tired in it. I get worn out. And when I think I'm controlling it, it's actually controlling, controlling me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good, Pastor. Yeah. The thing whooping me. You understand? It got me. It got me. So I got to come under Jesus. Uh, are you with me? So I, I got to get myself locked up. So I can get freed up. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. A a am I right? Yes, sir. Amen. Because guess what? His yoke is easy, and what? It's His very, burden is light. Is light. Okay. Somebody turn to First Corinthians seven and twenty-two. What's the time? First Corinthians seven and twenty-two. Amen. Now, this is another oxymoron. I say you got to lock yourself up to be free. But when you become free, you're actually locked up. Mm. Did, did you hear that? Yeah, being a servant. Look, look at 1 Corinthians 7 22 again. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's freedman. Now he called me to what? He called me to serve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In my service, I'm actually free. Uh -huh. But while I'm free, I'm still in service. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Help yeah, me, Holy Ghost. Help yes, me, me teach this thing right quick. Mm -hmm. huh? We've been called by the Lord. Yeah, we've been called by the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't know it? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me take you to the scripture right here. Where, where the Lord has called you. Because a lot of y'all don't even know that the Lord done called you. He, he talking now, but you just ain't listening. Yeah, he, yeah, he done called you. Hold on. Anybody, anybody try to hear the Lord talking to him? That's the problem. All right. 1 Peter 
2 and 9, but ye are a chosen Vessel. generation. Generation, yeah. You're a royal priesthood. Yeah. You're a holy nation. Cure people. You are a peculiar people. Uh-huh. What the rest of it say? Oh, y'all ain't even turned that dick. Called out of darkness into his mother's light. Huh? What'd it say? Called out of darkness into his mother's light. Because he has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. To do what? To show forth praises unto him that has called you. That's where it started. Yes, to show forth praises unto him yes, that has called you out of darkness yes, into his marvelous light. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you have been called by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have been called. Amen. You've been called to be a servant. Mm -hmm. Now, when you come here to NCCT, what do you think you came here to be? You think you, think you came here to watch me? <laughs> Is that what you think you came to do? A lot of them you think you have, though. Yeah, a lot of you think you come here watching me. <laughs> you, want, you, you want me to open the door? You want me to lock the door? You want me to turn the air conditioners on? You want me to turn the lights on? You want me to clean the yard up? You want me to cut the grass? A lot of y'all think you have come here just to watch me work. Ain't nobody saying that to me. Amen. Say amen or say I was one or two. Amen. You want me to take the trash out? You want me to clean the restroom up? You want me to clean my office up? You want me to preach the word on Wednesday? You want me to preach the word on Guess what? You want me to be here when you get here, but you ain't here when I get here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ouch. You've been called to service. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You ain't been called to sit here and watch me. Amen. 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 Who walked that thing up? That, that's why your name is Reverend. That's why your name is Minister. That's why your name is Deacon. That's why your name is Deacon. That's why your name is Brother and Sister. Because you've been called for service. Amen. That's why your name is Usher there on the back row. Yes, sir. Amen. You've been called for service. Amen. The house of God needs service. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, in your serving, you will free your own self up. Amen. 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 Now watch this here. While you're serving somebody else, you're actually serving yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I know that sounds crazy. I, I know all I know all of this sounds crazy to you. I I, I know it do, but we need to we this I need to make it plain to you. You need to understand that. Uh, 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 I'm here to learn how to be a true disciple. Now, I know I don't know how to do that, but I need to learn how to be a true disciple. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. While I was locked up in TDC, I had to learn how to be an inmate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, <laughs> My name was Ralph Holiday. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. My name was Inmate 06. Yeah, yeah. 46. 26. Mm -hmm. That was my number. Mm -hmm. Lose your name. <laughs> I had to learn how to be an inmate. All right. Yeah. I had to learn how to obey somebody else's voice. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Nobody yes, sir. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. I had to learn how to follow instructions. Uh -huh. I had to learn how to wake up in the morning, and I had to learn how to go to bed at night. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yeah. I had to learn how to eat three square meals a day. Yeah. See, sometimes y'all think the penitentiary is a bad thing, but it's really a good thing. <laughs> Put some structure in your life for you folks that ain't got no. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, amen. Well, thing, amen. 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 Paul was there to learn. I'm here to learn how to be a true disciple. Paul says we must walk worthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
That's why we got to learn, because we got to learn how to walk worthy. I, I, we know how to work, walk as unworthy disciples, am I right? Amen. Amen. Yeah. We've been doing that a long time. But we need to learn how to walk as worthy disciples. And you come to this unit today to see more learn how to walk. All right. That's why we come. Look at verse 2. It says, with all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Mm -hmm. Now, them, them, them some words there that's got to be defined. The word loneliness means the humble opinion of oneself. You know, because some of you got your, you, you, you can't walk up in this door, your head so doggone me. <laughs> Stick a pin in that thing into the bus. Yeah. 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 Huh? Some of you walking around with your head up in the clouds, if it drizzles, you'll drown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of, some of you think you really don't stink. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Hey, man. You think when you go to the toilet, it smells like roses. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. Come back with me if you can. Amen. 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 Loneliness means that, that I have a humble opinion of myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I don't think too much of myself. Matter of fact, Paul said a man ought to think soberly and not to think too much of himself as he ought to think. For if he does, then he deceives himself. That's the, yeah, that's scripture. Yeah. There's a lot of them been deceiving ourselves for a long time up in here. We think too much of ourselves. And see, when I think too much of myself, then I think less of God. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. That's yes, sir. It. Yes, sir. When I think too much of myself, Sister Bynum, I think less of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ain't nobody saying that. Amen. 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 Loneliness is a humble opinion of one's mind, of, of, of oneself. This virtue is necessary in order to properly value others around you. Amen. Yeah, that's it. Amen. The, the reason why I don't value Sister Barnes is because I don't have any loneliness. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's because I'm not humble in myself. Right. That's the reason why I don't value her. I'm going to show you something else I'm, I'm, I'm doing, too. This is really going to touch your little feelings right here. Uh -huh. And that's all right. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Don't let your feelings. Don't let your feelings be your killing. killing. Be your killing. It's going to touch you right here. Let's look at Philippians 2 and 3 right quick. 2 and 3. Philippians Done. Let nothing be done. What? Through strife. Uh huh. Or in glory. If it were any glory which is in, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Now that's kind of twisted up language. We might not understand that all the way. Anybody got a new English version or a new international version or an amplified version? We're going to break that down just a little bit. Come on, talk to me. Anybody got a different version? I could, you say, uh, I mean, Philippians chapter 2. Yeah, come on, read it. Let nothing be done through self, selfish 